sometimes I add special videos. They may be from my lives, my tour, or maybe from the archives. Sometimes they're a little shaky and a little rocky, but I tell you, it has great value, and it's something that I believe will bless you. Watch this. One of the things that these families share, and this is not all of the things, but these are just three things I want to discuss with you. One is, is that they have great communication communication and in any family you have to be able to talk one with the other you have to be able to say what your feelings are you have to be able to communicate your goals you have to be able to communicate what's wrong what's right in your life and when you are trying to build something together you have to be open and honest and be able to articulate what it is that it is you're trying to do so that the family can get on board you know, I own a theater company, and um, listen, if I don't hold not one audition, I've got enough talent in my family to keep the business going strong forever and ever. And one of the things that I did was sat down with the family and said, this is what we're going to do. This is what I'm trying to do. This is how I see you all playing a part of it. And it's about sitting down and communicating a dream, a vision, a suggestion. You know how you have to approach your family. Because much of the time, hi Stephanie, how are you darling? Good to see you. Thank you so much for subscribing to the Wise Culture Philosophy. Many of you are really, really struggling to get that business or ministry going. You really are trying to do better for yourself in your life. And all along, darlings, it's in your house. And yes, you may say, well, I got a two-year-old. I got three two-year-olds and I'm a single fam single mother, a single father. Listen, it doesn't matter, darlings. You can work with them right now. Many kids have been on the job with their dad on the construction site. And they've learned so much about construction that elevated to building and real estate and buying. Listen, don't despise small beginnings. Even though your children are small, that is the perfect time to work with them to mold them it gets harder when they're older but listen even when you got adult kids and everybody seems to be struggling you may decide to get together and buy one house a huge one in a beautiful neighborhood and all of you can pay rent together or, or put, put in together to pay for the mortgage that might be your project but in my family it was the theater and every last one, I have two sons. One is a, a, a young adult and the other one is a teenager. And my husband, my husband writes and he performs. My children, <clears throat> my youngest son, has been a stage manager since he was little and he performs. My oldest one will perform, but he likes to write and come up with music. And the youngest one also does music too as well. And I do a lot of the producing and the directing and performing. So you can come together as a family. That family connection can really change your life if you look at it in a different way. So many families are really, really doing extremely well because they look at what's in their house and they maximize through communication. So number one is you're going to communicate. Number two is you're going to define clear roles. You're going to have clear roles. So communication and the other is clear roles. Okay. And so I know that we talk about a mom does this and this is what the mom does and the dad does this and this is what the dad does and the sister and the brother and the aunt and the grandmother. And I do think that's important because that helps lay down uh, uh, the safety and comfort of the home. And, you know, when you have a family that's intact, it's important that your aunts and uncles know their place, that grandma and them know their place. You know, sometimes family members don't mean any harm, but you can gently say, well, listen, I'm the mother and I'm correcting the child and I'm raising the child and this is what we're doing that's fine. But listen, when you're trying to come together for the benefit of a family connection to do better, to work on things together, to build a family dynasty, if you will, then you're going to have to outline the roles, not only what they do in their family, but what they are doing in this business, in this ministry, in this idea, in this project, and people have to respect it. Going back to my younger son, who's now 15, he'll be 16 next month. When he started off as a stage manager for us, he was about maybe eight years old. 
And so I could pull rank if I didn't like something and say, well, I'm your mother. But in the business, in the business or in the project or the ministry, whatever you're doing, but in our case, the business, whatever he said went in, in regards to stage managing. That was his domain. That was what he was in charge of. And we respected him. We supported him. If something was wrong, we trained him. We made sure he understood what his role was. And when the show came, he called the shots. We gave him enough respect. And you know what that, that did? That helped him to own what he had, that helped him to step up into his responsibility. And even to this day, he's extremely responsible. Uh, we could utilize him in that regard with no problem. As well as when he steps on stage, he respects the role of the actor. If he, if he uh, sees me directing, he respects the role of the director, the producer, the makeup artist. It does something different uh, to the family when they realize, yes, your mom, or yes, your dad, but we have to respect you in this particular role. You may be the child in the family, but in this project, you are the leader and we respect you. And so we have to define clear roles. So one, it's communication. Two, it's clear roles. Listen, I'm giving some gems right here. I know the replay viewers are going to have communication. We talked about clear roles. And number three, darlings, number three is commitment. Commitment. Whenever you're verging and merging a family connection, you have to be committed. Just like in your regular family, you don't just run out when things get bad. You don't just leave or when you're bored, you decide you're going to get an affair or when you don't want that. It, that's a big one, Pastor, right? And this is where most families fail because not only are they not having commitment in the general family, they're not having commitment when they decide to come together to do something. That business, that ministry, that idea, that vision, they fall along the wayside. There's always at least one person who's messing it up for everybody. And I know that's what you're saying from the very beginning, but you don't know my family. They won't work together. You know, darlings, it is sad when we don't work together because when you look at it, when you really look at history, when you look at the common day today, there are so many families who are working together and they are moving up. Let me tell you, Pastor, when I was working in New York City, I was living in New Jersey at the time. I was a, an actress. And so actresses tend to take, I'm looking at my phone because I'm trying to pull this up because I want to be able to, to name the replay viewers. Actresses take odd jobs sometimes, you know, just pick up any kind of job because they're performing and they want to still make some money, but they don't want the commitment of a full-time job. So with that, I've worked at Chinese restaurants, Greek restaurants, Italian restaurants. I grew up in a Jewish neighborhood. Um, I with all these nationalities. And what I found is that certain people in certain nationalities are really, really great at coming together and working together. And uh, each person has their role. Each person is respected in their role and they are committed. Even when they had children who would go away to college, they would come back in their summers or their weekends or holidays and come and work in that restaurant. There was a commitment. There was a merging of the minds to really make this happen. They didn't get caught up in, you're going to make more than me, or you're doing this, but I'm doing that. They all played their role and they stuck with it. That says a whole lot because listen, if you can't stick to something, it's going to be hard to be successful. Hi, the smart chick. It's going to be hard to be successful. Thank you so much for inviting followers. It's going to be hard to be successful in what you're doing. So family connections are Oh my gosh, our everything about building this family connection. We started off talking about connections and yesterday we talked about romantic connections and it's much more than kissy poo poo holding hands. It's much more. Thank you for joining back LG Credit. And this family connections is even more important. We talked about having one, communication. Number two, having clear goals, having clear roles rather. Thank you so much, smart chick. And the third thing is we talked about commitment. What would happen if you and your family could get on one accord and work together? Hi, SMC Dow. 
to work together for a common goal, for your ministry, for your business, for your ideas, your vision, what would happen? Would you be the Kennedys? Would you be the Hiltons? Would you be uh, the Carnegies? Would you be the Smiths, meaning Will Smith and his acting family? Would you be the Barrymores, okay? What would you be? What would your family look like if you all could come together and make the most of your family? Thank connection? you for watching this video. And guess what, guys? You now have a lifetime subscription to the Wise Courtship Philosophy. So go to my website at w www.wisecourtship.com and find out why you are subscribed to the Wise Courtship Philosophy. And also join my free community at bit.ly forward slash wise courtship. The W and the C are capitalized or just search us on Facebook, okay, under Wise Courtship family. It's free of charge. We will love on you. We will support you and you are so welcome to be there. And remember darlings, don't forget to like this video, comment and share, share, share. This is Tony. Remember darlings, I hope you detect a lover worth living with. Bye. Bye.